If you built a new home, you would have taken out the standard builder's warranty insurance to give you peace of mind, right? Well, think again. The insurance companies charge upwards of $350 million a year in premiums, but we haven't managed to come across one successful claimant, and we're not alone. And as Glenn Conley reports, it's sending homeowners who desperately need help to the wall. All I want is my house fixed and have my life back. Janine Bransden paid a fortune for her dream home on the Apple Isle, but what she got was a lemon. You go to bed with this, you wake up with it. It's like somebody has died all over again when you wake up in the morning. The roof isn't uh, tied down correctly, the veranda structure is uh, incorrect, the pillars are not uh, constructed in the uh, right place. Anthony Roberto has pinpointed more than a thousand faults with his home at Wallen, north of Melbourne. The whole building needs to come down. One place was purposely built for mum and dad. Um, one was for Jim and his family, four kids, and one for myself. George and Jim Caffiades demolished their parents' family home in Port Melbourne to build three luxury townhouses. But the builder made such a mess, they'll probably have to be torn down. The slab does need to be demolished. Um, you've got uh, plumbing in the wrong areas. You've got levels are incorrect. You've got... Uh, fire rated walls that don't comply, wrong plumbing, plumbing that belongs to one property is in the wrong property, wrong title. In all three of these cases, the work is so bad no one disputes the respective builders stuffed up in a huge way. Yet amazingly, all three builders have so far been able to wash their hands of the debacle and move on. To top it all off, the three home owners paid handsomely for compulsory builder's warranty insurance. The system is uh, simply a fraud in the sense that uh, um, homeowners pay for their builder's warranty insurance and then are unable to make a claim. The system doesn't work, that's what I think of the system. In theory, a special insurance for home builders makes perfect sense. But tinkering by governments and penny pinching by the insurance companies has made builder's warranty insurance little more than an expensive joke, impossible to use. The insurers take the money, they make good profits on it, it's good for the builder, it's good for the insurers, it's bad for the homeowners. You get absolutely nothing in return. In every state except Queensland, which has its own efficient building insurance system, you can only make a claim on builder's warranty insurance as a last resort, after spending a fortune exhausting all other legal avenues. And you can't make a claim at all for dodgy or unfinished work unless the builder is dead, missing or broke. And even then there are conditions. But it's not just consumers branding builder's warranty insurance an absurd waste of time. Builders hate it too. Completely flawed. It's failed in every sense of the word. There is no, there is no aspect of it that is of benefit to the industry or to consumers in general. Builder Phil Dwyer heads a builder's collective which says not only is the insurance hurting consumers, the premiums are preventing decent, talented builders from starting up and sending others to the wall. We've estimated nationally we're spending $350 million and in Victoria alone we're spending $121 million. And how much of that is being paid out to people who have problems? We can't establish any claims whatsoever, so therefore it's zero. Well, we asked the Insurance Council of Australia to explain the point of builder's warranty insurance. But, as usual, our questions were too hard and they refused to be interviewed. Then again, how would anyone justify why this or this or this doesn't constitute a building insurance claim. We don't have a problem paying more in insurance if we're getting cover. Correct. The problem is paying any money and getting no cover. So in the minute you try to claim on your indemnity insurance, you are put through this horrendous situation. Janine can't believe she's not covered by insurance. Forced into mediation with her builder, she won, only to have the decision overturned. Now, with the cupboard bare, she has no choice but to fork out for her builder's legal costs, which means selling the defective house he built her. It was the final insult after years of fighting. The house we've fought for for seven years will be sold to pay for the legal fees for a builder that went ran amok. To most consumers, insurance means 
um, something goes wrong, you claim insurance. The insurance that we've discovered, and it took a while to actually knock it through our heads, is last resort insurance, which hasn't worked for us. You can see the result two years on and possibly many years to go. George and Jim say the toll on their ageing parents is brutal. Their dad recently took a fall and damaged his spine. Their mum cries constantly. They're furious and say they'll fight the builder and the system, whatever the cost. Legal costs will far outweigh the costs we've paid to even get to this stage. It's escalated from anywhere close between, you know, sort of 800000 upwards to quotes now in the vicinity of $2 million. Did you think you were covered and safe with that insurance? Absolutely. We thought that uh, builder's warranty insurance would cover us for any uh, defects. So what good is this insurance at all for someone like you? Absolutely none. There is no good in it whatsoever. Anthony says his $400,000 house is now likely to cost him well over a million dollars by the time it's knocked down and rebuilt properly. And finally, this is Janine's message to the heartless governments and insurance companies whose greed and arrogance serves as little more than a giant, expensive insult to decent homeowners. Ripped off by builders, then the very organisations claiming to protect them. This has destroyed my life. And if you've had problems claiming on your builder's warranty insurance, we'd like to hear from you. So please leave your details on our website at yahoo7.com.au.